The iOS Mail app has gained several fairly minor but pretty helpful new features. First, we have an extended reply menu. When I tap the reply button here in a message, we get this new panel that has the usual reply, reply all, forward, and trash options, but below also has a long list of other options. So we can do things like flag the message, move it, mute it, print it, and more. If you have an email thread that's overactive and may become distracting, we can now mute the thread. In mail settings, we can choose exactly what muting a thread does. Currently, I have Mark as Red selected. So when a new email comes in on this thread, it won't show up as a new email, and I won't hear the usual alert sound. We can also choose to archive or delete the thread. Selecting this means you probably don't plan on reading any of the messages in the thread. Mark is red is the option that I prefer here. It cuts down on those new email alert sounds, and I can still see what's going on in the thread when I choose to take a look. We can always unmute a thread by tapping the same button. We can also now block senders in mail. To do this, we need to tap on the sender's name and choose to block this contact. In mail settings, we also have blocked sender options. We can choose none, leave an inbox, or move to trash. Most of the time I would think we'd choose move to trash here. With this on, emails from this sender won't appear in the inbox at all. Mail will automatically send them directly into the trash. Choose mark as blocked but leave an inbox and the email gets a little talk to the hand icon applied to it, but still appears in the inbox and can be read normally and replied to. At the top of the message, a warning appears letting me know this is a blocked contact with the link to the mail settings. When composing a new email or a reply, we have some new options in the format bar. On an iPad, we have the usual quick type word suggestions across the top, but to the right, we now have four buttons for adding photos, adding attachments, scanning a document, or jumping into markup. On the iPhone, we just need to tap this arrow to view these five options. From the Photos button, we can take a picture with the device or add a photo from our library. The Attachments button lets us select a document or an image to attach from the Files app. Choose the Document Scanner option and we can utilize the device's camera to auto-scan a document that is then attached to the email. Choose Markup and we can create a sketch using our finger or an Apple Pencil that will be then attached into the email. So these aren't major changes to the Mail app, but they should make it a little more easy and more efficient to organize your inbox.